Welcome to Al Stocks. Let's get straight to the point and not waste any time. Please do not subscribe, like, or hit any notification bell. Just listen, learn, and pass this on to new investors. There is pure market manipulation and unethical practices in Wall Street. I have privileged data that I will show you for free that will illuminate the storyline of how Cohen, a Wall Street firm, wants to scare retail investors into selling, even if their fundamental analysis was wrong. In this video, I will show you the alpha short squeeze signal generated for Clover Health and how the stock price rose against the odds of many analysts. As shorts were about to cover, a firm released a low ball price target offer of $7. However, they did not disclose their current put option, which makes money when the stock goes down. You as the investor need to dig in and figure out the law required 13F filing that was passed by Congress in 1975. Let me show you on the computer screen. Let's go. Okay, so this is Ortex. I'm gonna go ahead and navigate down to the alpha trading signal. I want you to look at here. Yesterday there was a signal. It was It's called a short squeeze type three. It was in the buy direction and they recommend holding it for 10 days. If you go ahead and look where the signal was generated, you see that the intraday high on September 7th was um, $11.13. Since that day, the stock has been going down in a negative trajectory. And there's some shady shit that's been going on. If you go ahead and take a look on September 8th, um, but the borrowing fees start to increase all the way to 107%, even to go to 129%, all of a sudden dropping right after um, down to 0.9%. Guys, this is definitely something shady and the stock has been attacked left and right i want to point you to something um, that explains why the stock literally dropped pretty much down to uh, nine dollars at the time of this recording this company cohen initiates an underperform for seven dollars pretty much a seven dollar price target on clover health what's interesting is if you look at their uh, recent filings this is the same company Back in June 30th, um, a couple of weeks after that short squeeze and the stock price started to go down, they generated a put option, which basically means they make money when the stock goes down and they have 35,500 shares and they bought this on June 30th. They had to release this to us because of Congress back in 1975. On August 13th, they released it in a 13F Securities and Exchange Commission's filing. Listen, guys, there is more good than bad for this stock. If you look at the institutional ownerships, these are all of the amazing institutions that have been buying this stock. I mean, look at this, 2.7 million shares bought at $10.44 from Vanguard. Another 3.1 million from Vanguard. Guys, people are buying this stock. But this company that's unethical, the reason why it's seven, they, they put a $7 price target is because they benefit from it, okay? Now look at it. This company's revenue is increasing, all right? They are working so hard and think about this. You have a company with a total revenue of $412 million, up 140% year over year, and the Clover um, management nearly doubled from the first quarter to approximately 129,000. And check this out. Clover Assistant is on track to manage over 1 billion of annualized revenue. The original owner of the SPAC stated that by 2023, this company will be profitable and that it'll 10X in literally 10 years. Now let this sink in your brain. You have a Wall Street firm that has a put option, 35,500 shares of put options that was created in the end of June that we knew about in August because of legal filings they have to do the 13F. And this stock is about the short squeeze, has signals there, borrowing fees are going up, and the price is going up, breaking tread lines, getting number one in the Wall Street bets community, number one or two in Weeble rankings, and all of a sudden, today, right before Friday's call options were made to go in the money, they released this $7 underperformed price target. 
Think about that. They have a put option, which makes money when the stock goes down. So do you think they would release a price target that's $14, $15? That's going to be go that's higher than what the price is right now? Are they really going to release? Are they going to really be honest by looking at the fundamentals of the company that's growing 140% year over year? And it's on track to making approximately $1.4 billion in annualized revenue. Do you really think they're going to put a price target higher to basically charge themselves like they're going to donate to the stock market community because of their put options going against the direction of where they want it to go? No, they're going to manipulate retail investors saying it's a terrible stock. They're going to go ahead and say $7 and plaster it everywhere. And they're going to make you feel like shit because that's how they operate. Use your brain. Use what Congress gave us in 1975. Buy and hold and don't give up. Do not give up. Peace.